I don't know what happened to my clips, but I couldn't get a, a mage weapon uh, super early, so I had a I used the hammer. Uh, I don't know what it's called uh, until I could craft one. Um, in the last clip, I bought a, a potion pouch, which came in clutch uh, pretty early. Um, and here I'm making my first mage weapon, which is like the venom that you put on the ground. I was able to find a ton of iron ore so I can make iron armor, which made the boss really easy. But uh, I couldn't really, I was trying to figure out what the best, like, which of the mage weapons was better to use for the fight. And I think I concluded that the uh, the one where you put the venom on the ground was nice because you could put two venom pools under the boss. And since he doesn't move, you could kind of stack the damage and it would tick twice instead of, you know, just once. Uh, but the Elder, of course, came in clutch. I mean, I feel like Elder does like 80% of the damage or something, but no, it's still nice. Uh, I had to kill the boss like four times. I, I got the Mage Focus last. Uh, so, yeah, but I, I can make the, the Omni uh, damage boost thing that I don't even know what it's called, but the one that, that does all damage. So, eventually got that, and we it helped us stock up on demonic bars, which was pretty nice. Um, so, I made the Icicle Staff. It was fine. Uh, I think Mage for this boss has a difficult time, because with range, you can just make the demonic bow. But the next weapon you can get is... You need void shards, which is the for the with the boss after this. So like, I mean, I I think the icicle staff is your best bet, but it's not a good bet. Um, I honestly should have made the weather ten percent movement speed thing because it just the it just felt kind of hard to dodge. Um, but and and the boss kill just it felt so slow because uh, the weapon just. If it's all right, but it, it just compared to, you know, the love the range gets with the demonic bow. It just it ain't there, you know. But uh, if you just know if you know the cycles, it's it's not it's not too bad. I, it's definitely I mean it's easily doable. Uh, the, the, but the, the things on the the ground, the blue stuff on the ground, that that was pretty miserable to be honest. I, I'm a little upset. I don't know what happened, but I guess I ran out of space. Um, so the mid-game, all the bosses in the mid-game and all the progress didn't get recorded. Uh, but I will talk on it. Um, this The blood book, I don't know what it's called, where it shoots three and they're heat-seeking. That is amazing. Uh, I use it for the void ball, the, the wizard in the dungeon. No problems. It was fine. This 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 weapon is great for the early to mid game. Uh, as soon as you can make it, I would. Um, and then the swamp boss. Still, I use this same just setup and everything. It was just miserably slow. Like so miserably slow. I I, I can't even like get over. But um, then the next boss was the vulture. That boss is just free. Uh, pirate. I use the genie lamp, which the genie lamp does great damage. But if you're gonna be mage, you need like the benefit of being mage is that you you have range. So I only use the genie lamp for the pirate boss. Um, it, the range is just awful. But. I kind of, kind of struggled with the the pirate boss. I think it just took forever because I had to, you know, basically kiss it to be able to da damage. And the amount of pirates just coming by, like God, I like, it's like I had to keep my distance enough to not get hit by the cannonball. But if I wanted to damage, I had to go up to it. So the fight just took forever. But I think it went well.
uh, just just annoying, you know. Uh, so the you know, Reaper, I went and farmed. Before I did Reaper, I went and farmed for full ninja because uh, there's, there's no shot I was doing Reaper, you know, slows molasses. Uh, and also I got the glacial staff because I was looking at the the DPS table on the wiki, and when I was making the staff, I was like, this might be the la like the the best weapon, best mage weapon of the game. I was so afraid of it. Um, the most annoying part about this is like whenever you're in like a one by one you know hallway like that you mined, well the icicles spawn on the outside for whatever reason you know i feel like mage already has a pretty difficult time um but for whatever reason the icicle spot on the on the outside of you so as soon as they spawn while, while you're in like a one by one hallway it's like they, they, they just collide with the wall and just go away so that was really annoying just fighting like skeletons and stuff um, you you basically lost like 80% of your DPS because there's just nowhere for the the icicles just get just clip with the wall. But I think with the boss it did fine. I I don't know if I died a single time. I can't remember. Um, but the ninja armor, dude, the ninja armor. I would get that ace up like, uh, maybe not. I don't know about melee, but we're gonna see with melee, but. The ninja armor is so sick. The stats it gives, the 20% movement speed, it's insane. And the, you know, you don't get penalized for shooting. Very nice. Um, I think I killed, I was trying to get the mage weapon, but from the Reaper, so I might have killed it a couple more times. But I killed it like two or three times and just didn't get it. So I gave up and just went on and just used ice. Uh, there's really not much to say about the ice queen. I... I just, I didn't even kill it to get the her weapon. I don't even know what her weapon's like. I probably should have tried it out, but I didn't. Whatever. Um, she's just, I, I, whenever I first started this game, she gave me the most trouble out of any boss. I'm pretty sure. Reaper was close second. But once you just know her cycle, you know what's coming and how to dodge everything, it's pretty easy. I just. Knowing how to dodge and what the way, like the cycle, is just is it makes it easy. There's really just not much to say. I use the same setup as Reaper. I mean, it was. I I know I use the term a lot, but straightforward. It was straightforward. All right, now we're moving on to Sage and Grit, and it took me a few tries because I think I was just half-assing it, and. I think I was trying to focus too much on DPS and not enough on dodging. And I think that's a mistake that I'm starting to realize is it's more important to dodge than it is to do DPS. Which, it makes sense, but, you know, you just want to burst them down and get, get it over with in a sense. But, uh, yeah, I just, I, 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 this time I was like okay I just need to dodge like just I need to dodge um, I even got trapped in a circle but I was like just put all folks in the dot I mean you can even see me sometimes whenever they do the the circle with the laser um, I, I don't even shoot I don't even try to DPS them well cut one because they have the damage reduction but also because I just need to dodge like that is the most important thing um, but the fight went well I actually had pretty decent HP coming out of it uh, just used the icicle staff. It was clutch. Um, we eventually we did get the the dragon lance on the first kill. Thank thank the Lord. I mean Jesus. Uh, but yeah, the the dragon lance mm, crazy weapon. Even it even looks cool as hell. Uh, but yeah, you'll you'll see. I use it for the final fight, and you'll see. Uh, I'll talk more about the final fight because that I I I realized some things um, in it, but yeah, basically same setup as uh, Ice Queen. 
Okay, let's talk about this fight and the Dragon Lance. Dragon Lance can't move while attacking with it, but it slaps. It absolutely slaps. Um, you can kind of cheese if you spam click. I might do it sometimes in the fight. I don't know. If, I don't know. Uh, when I tell you this thing does insane damage, but you can't move with it. But you can kind of cheese it if you spam click and move. Um, can be useful, like maybe not for this fight, but just for killing skeletons or whatever. Um, but great weapon. It might be the best weapon in the game. I don't know. Now let's talk about this boss fight. So I, I'm still learning and getting better at this game. And I want to make a vid video guide on this boss because it took me a few tries to, to beat it. And But I think if I just went in there like now, I know what's worth like, do like what you need to dodge and what you can kind of, you know, take, take some chip hits. And so these... Like, the, the wave of, of purple curve things, those, you need to try your hardest to dodge. And the, the most important thing that you need to dodge is the laser that's spin around. You need to stop what the, whatever you're doing, stop DPSing, and dodge the laser that he spins. That is the key to winning the fight. These little, like, uh, little sparkles that he shoots like uh, the machine gun those you know they like 20 damage to me um but the the laser is almost do like, like almost not dodgeable and it's just so important to dodge 